Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you my D-Boys Mod 1 SPR MK12 Airsoft AEG. Um, this is an Airsoft video, I'm going to be giving you a review on the specs of this gun and everything from inside out pretty much. Um, the stats, all that stuff, and be telling you how I got it, how much it was for me and much more. So, let's get on with it. Um, this right here is the AEG. Um, this is all metal from the out, the inner barrel, outer barrel. You know what? I'll just tell you what's not metal. These hand guards are polymer. They're on each side. Um, the stock is like hard ABS plastic, so I don't think it's going to break very soon. Um, this is a nice textured polymer ergonomic pistol grip. It helps with faster target acquisition. And uh, that helps on this gun because it has a really, long, a really long barrel and I can easily grip onto the weapon and aim down my sights pretty easy. So yeah, um, the battery is stored in the back right here I currently have I currently have an N N N I M H 8.4 volt battery in here stick type battery um so yeah battery that it came with broke because it's like a cheap stock gun battery and usually the batteries they come with aren't going to last you very long. And I learned that. So, yeah. Um, this has a fully working uh, adjustable hop-up unit. So, yeah, you just pull the charging handle back, which um, releases the dust cover. And exposes the hop-up unit. And you can adjust your hop-up to um, anything, anything you want. And for you, those of you that didn't know, um, hop up, it's like, it, it makes, uh, it's, it's where the BBs are gonna go. It can make them go up or, like, down, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, I'll get to the external features of this gun. The whole RIS unit is really long. RIS stands for Rail Interface System, and, um, it allows, like, the, um, user of the weapon to attach like as many attachments as they want like but it has to all fit on the RIS unit you can attach what you want but like this one came with a pretty long one so if, say if I wanted to put a flashlight here a laser right here um, even like if I want to move the bipod back put a vertical foregrip in a like M203 grenade launcher there I could um, so this allows for like a lot of attachments but at the same time since this is such a long barrel uh, it's like it's, and, um, I'm not, like, the biggest person. It's kind of hard when I'm running around, hard to aim, aim up. But as I said earlier, the ergonomic pistol grip actually really helps with that. So, now we'll be getting on to the, uh, sights. Here, these are flip-up sights, flip-up rear sights, um, and flip-up front sights. You can bring down the front sights. By pressing this button right here, it allows you to bring these sights down. And if you want to bring them back up, all you have to do is pull. Because you don't actually have to activate the button for uh, that way around. And for the back here, all you do is this is to adjust where the um, rear sight thing is like along the, along the back of your sight. Um, you can pull this down and lock it into place with this little thing. Here, let me see. To show you so you can see. Bring this down. You can put that little clip. You can clip it right there. And um, this, this actually has... Here, let me just bring this out so you can see. Oh, 
I'll show you the sights the best I can. to get it there that's basically that okay and that's the best I could do these sites show resemblance to the model for two sites for the M4 and they also these sites you can change them out like that one's open hole this one has a lot smaller of a hole, so that might be more accurate. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna put the camera back. I'm using the Legos to hold the camera up, so I couldn't find anything, so just went all resourceful on this. Got some Legos. Uh, um, so yeah, that's that's the sights. What we have up here is the bipod that comes with this gun. For a long time I had the bipod facing the other way, so it would like come in this way, but then I learned you're supposed to have it the other way, so you fold it up in this way, like pointing out with the barrel. So yeah, this bipod is worth like $25, I think. Uh, came with the gun, Airsoft GI, the site that I bought this from, said it wouldn't come with the gun, but it actually did. And also came with a vertical foregrip, which here, let me get, let me, I, I'll take this one off of this gun. I have it on a different gun. Um, here, this is the vertical foregrip, and it's not that exciting, it's just regular M4 foregrip. Yeah. Um, I like the bipod a lot though, because the bipod, bipod gives it a good look and stuff, and I also can lie down and like acquire targets really easily because I don't have to hold the bulk of the weapon, I just have to hold it from the back. So, yeah. And, um... These rail covers also came with the gun. This really nice addition too, um, because this is metal, all metal, so it's not gonna ever like. Well, it's I at least it's gonna take a long time for it to round out the edges. Like, say you had like a really crappy plastic RIS rail interface unit, it might like if you hold it enough or something, if it gets enough wear and tear, it might not be so sharp on the edges. But this won't do that. That won't happen to this rail. So these um, covers come in handy because it's comfortable. And it's not like you have your hand on metal and it's like scratching the whole time. So that's a nice addition. Um, this gun does not have sling mounts, or at least I haven't found them yet, for a, for a sling so you can carry it on your back. But it does have sling mounts for a one point sling uh... yeah it, com it comes with the one point sling actually so that's pretty pretty good i guess if you like one point slings i'm not a very big fan i like i would have liked for this gun to have places so i could like put it on my back um, cause carrying it around is a lot of work oh also this is the magazine I usually use point .20 um, PSD Tactical BBs, but um, sometimes I might put like Airsoft Elite 25, 25s in it. Um, so, no, not Airsoft Elite. Don't buy from Airsoft Elite. They're low grade Airsoft guns. Um, Elite Force. Yeah, and I put I put their BBs in this one too. You don't want to use low grade BBs or else they will tear up the inner barrel and. Um, like just destroy the gun. Also, it took me a while to figure out what these things do on the M4s, but I actually found out while playing Black Ops that it, unless they just like made this up in Black Ops, this is supposed to hold your sling. Like when you you, you put it over your barrel and then like put it on the side or something. But I found that kind of cool. Correct me if I'm wrong. Might have just been something made up by Black Ops. 
So, and also it had like it was weird. It had a sling mount here, but not up here. So like, but that fell out and I lost that. So yeah. Uh. Um. That's. I guess. Uh. I'll I'll do a target shooting video. Um. And I'll show you how this is on full auto. I've had a few problems with this gun, like it jamming up and the motor, like the wires coming off the motor, stuff like that. The battery for this gun broke, as I said, so yeah. And this is how fast it shoots. On full auto, it's about 15 VPS, bolts per second. Um, that might be on lipo. I'm lithium polymer battery, I'm not sure. Uh, but it could just be on regular. So here, here goes. This is really low in battery, like less than halfway through the battery, so. Yeah. It's nice. Semi. Boring semi. Um. Yeah. And. Um. Oh, yeah. Um. I believe you can attach suppressors to this gun. There's like a little hole right here. You might not be able to see it because it's really small, but there's this little hole, and you can put an Allen wrench in that, or an Allen key, I'm not sure what it's called. Like, and you can, like, unscrew this, take this off, put a flash hider suppressor, you know, what, the barrel extension, whatever you want. Um, I got kind of a defective unit, almost, because my rail interface system isn't lined up with my barrel, so it's like, I don't think it affects the accuracy, but kind of pissed me off to get that. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, bye.